Hello, I'm Robin Worley and welcome to Lenscraft. Today, I want to discuss dodging and burning. In a moment, I'm going to demonstrate a useful technique you can use with dodging and burning in Photoshop. But first, let's talk a bit about what dodging and burning is. So dodging and burning comes from techniques we used in the darkroom. When we made a print from a negative, we'd expose photographic paper by passing light through it. Where the negative was dark, it would stop the light from passing and it would stop paper from being exposed. Where the negative was light, more light would pass through and expose the paper. Now, the more the paper was exposed to light, the darker it would become when we developed it. And this is what turned the film negative into a positive print. Now, when we dodge and burn an area, we would reduce the light reaching the photographic paper. And this caused the area to become lighter. Now, when we burned an area, we'd increase the amount of light reaching the paper, causing it to become darker. So in a nutshell, dodging causes areas to become lighter and burning causes them to become darker. Now, much of Photoshop's based on darkroom techniques, including the dodge and burn tools. Now, the problem with the dodge and burn tools is that they are destructive. When you apply them directly to an image, it prevents you from making changes later. Today, I want to introduce you to a powerful alternative to these tools using layers and blending modes. And we're going to use this black and white image as an example. Currently, it's a little bit flat. It's quite boring, but we're going to enhance it by dodging and burning. And I'm going to start by creating a new layer from the Layers menu. And I'm going to call this layer Dodge. Also, I'm going to change the Blending Mode to Overlay. Then, I'm going to select to fill the new layer with Neutral Grey. You can see the new layers being added down here. I'm now going to duplicate this layer and rename the copy to Burn. And I'm just going to put these two layers into a folder. Next, I'm going to select the Brush tool because we're going to use this to paint or dodge and burn onto these layers. Be sure to set up your brush to have a soft edge. I'm going to use something around 50% for this. You should also set a low opacity, something between 10 and 20 to start with. The reason we use a soft edge is that it will help blend the adjustments we make with the rest of the image. Also, the low opacity forces us to use multiple brush strokes. This helps build up the effect more gradually, but it also helps blend the adjustments we make into the rest of the image. It's also a good idea to set your paint foreground and background colour to the default of black and white, because that's what we're going to be painting with. We can do this by pressing D on the keyboard. I'm going to now start by painting white onto the dodge layer. At the moment, I've got black as my foreground colour, but I can switch easily between them by pressing X on the keyboard. As I now paint, you'll see that the areas that I paint over become lighter. Now this is going to take quite a few brush strokes, so I'm just going to get on with it for a moment. Now I can switch to painting with black by pressing X on the keyboard. This time I'm going to paint onto the burn layer. Now because we've painted onto layers, we can adjust the opacity of these layers to vary the effect. We can also change the blending mode to create a different effect. We 
We can even turn our layers on and off. As you can see, comparing the starting image with the effect that we have after dodging and burning, you can make a significant improvement to your images. I hope you found this technique useful. I'm Robin Worley and you've been watching Lenscraft. Thank you.